This is a very fierce super monster, looking at the severely wounded human in front of her. It first scratched his nose with its left hand, and then extended his finger. Don't come over. Don't come over. The monster did not eat her, but wiped the big snot on the woman's wound. The next second, a 30 meter long wound actually healed. The snot was magical medicine. The monster looked at the healed woman and smiled mysteriously. Then it took the woman to an apple tree and gently pulled a large 30 kilogram mango with its left hand and fell down. Do not look at its ugly appearance, but it is still a warm man. So where did this monster come from? Just a few days ago, while Shu Qin was swimming in the sea, a seal took Shu Qin to an isolated island. Where Shu Qin was abandoned, Shu Qin walked all over the island and did not find a single living thing. Soon Shu Qin was shivering in the night from the biting heat. Suddenly, a foul stench hit her. Lai Shu Qin walked to the stinking place and found a bundle of firewood on the ground. But while Shu Qin was happily roasting the fire, two huge eyes peeked out from behind. Even stranger, the next morning, Shu Qin appeared out of thin air a pile of fruit, just when he was about to eat it. Suddenly, another foul smell came and turned around to see. It turned out to be a giant monster that was 100 meters tall. Shu Qin ran over to take a look. Her heart was betrayed. The monster ran after Shu Qin in anger. It didn't run far. Shu Qin tripped and fell to the ground. Look at this heartless woman. The big nose monster went up to give her some color. Let's see if this woman was cut by a 40 meters knife with a 30 meters wound. Looking at the injured woman in front of her, the monster picked up a pile of 82 year old snot and evenly applied it to the woman's wound. My goodness, the woman immediately felt no pain. 30 meters long wound actually disappeared directly. The nasal mucus was so amazing. Xu Qing looked at the monster without malice. The two soon became good friends, but the monster's body was too smelly. Under the strong request of Xu Qing, the monster followed it to the sea. But it was born afraid of water life and death is not what to walk down. But it still does not turn around. The woman in front could only slowly move forward. However, Xu Qing splashed in the sea. At night, one person and one monster talked to each other. Although the language was unclear, the monster stammered out its name. <laughs> so Xu Qing was trapped on the island for seven days. That day, in the early morning, a small boat finally appeared on the sea. Xu Qing desperately shouted for help. The people on the boat seemed to have found Xu Qing, and they brought the boat to the island. Xu Qing was about to tell the good news to the monster, but the monster turned around and disappeared. Xu Qing had no choice but to leave the island by herself. The smell of Xu Qing almost made the captain vomit. After returning home, Xu Qing took eight baths. However, a fresh scent just came out and Xu Qing searched for a scarf with a monster's snuff for a long time. She curiously took the scarf and tried it, which is actually a very rare gas. And if made into perfume, all the women would go crazy with their get-rich-quick schemes. In order to get more ingredients, Xu Qing came back to the island. Xu Qing hugged the monster, who looked so popular, it showed its neat white teeth and smiled happily. Getting the raw materials, Xu Qing started to produce a large amount of monster brand perfume. As a result, Xu Qing was sold out as soon as it entered the market. Xu Qing also became the richest woman in the area. As the business continued to grow, the perfume began to run out of stock. In order to keep others from discovering the secret of the raw materials, Xu Qing decides to buy the island at great expense. Xu Qing's unusual behavior also led the police to keep an eye on the island. They also spotted the presence of monsters on the satellite. In the blink of an eye, a large number of police arrived at the island, and as they were about to kill the monster, Xu Qing hurried to the island. But Xu Qing ill to let the monster survive 100 tanks fired at the same time, and soon the monster was killed. The heartbroken Xu Qing cried as she hugged the monster. But in order not to let her perfume empire perish, Xu Qing made a bold decision. Although the monster was dead, the perfume could not run out of stock. So when Xu Qing turned around, holy cow, Xu Qing put the monster's nose on her face. The lure of money made Xu Qing lose herself completely.